guys, Triple C. Uh, today we're gonna talk about Hackintosh. Yeah, it's such a journey to get this Hackintosh to work. Uh, let's talk about it. Well, I got a computer here. Mm, it's a little dark. Let's get the little assistant here. Uh, on the light, alright. Okay, so. Here we got. Hey, get out of here. Here we got a um, Gigabyte. Hey, ah, oh, damn it. Okay, don't eat anything, alright? So we got a Gigabyte G31M ES2L motherboard. I got it for cheap, uh, for 40 bucks used. The thing works fine. Ah, uh, uh, he's smacking me with the tail. What a bark. Anyway, and then uh, I, I was able to acquire myself a um, E5200 processor. Uh, it was a trade-off, so I didn't, I didn't spend any money on it. And then uh, here's the uh, 8600 GTS that I have. Well, ho hold on a second. What are you doing? Get out of there. Quit chewing on my wires and stuff. Damn. Come on, get out. Always being annoying when I'm not making a video. And no, you. So sorry for the interruption. And here we got a uh, 160 gigabyte uh, Seagate hard drive. It's a, it's in SATA. And um, that thing there, I was just doing an image backup for the OSX just in case if I do any more modification and I screw it up. So I just a spare hard drive and uh, I got a DVD drive there. Um, here, here it is. So, yeah, this set out was perfect. Oh uh, yeah, uh, two gigabytes of uh, DDR2 800 memory. It's two to one gigabyte. And power supply, something that works, nothing fancy. I think it's 300 watts something. So yeah, uh, it's actually a long story how they get to this point. At first I didn't have that motherboard. I had this uh, this Dell here. Uh, that Dell is a 775 base motherboard on the Pentium 4, 3.2 gigahertz. So I was thinking to do Hackintosh with that and uh, it fails so many times. So I decided to go search for a more compatible hardware, which I come across this motherboard, luckily. And then uh, the processor I just talked about that I got, uh, again, lucky the guy happened to need some of the old parts that I have, so I traded off uh, without any caching though. And then uh, I had a XA50 XT graphic card Radeon, but that didn't work out. Having such a hard time to get the drivers working. So then out of desperation, I was gonna buy another video card, but I went to my spare room and I thought I'd give this thing a try again. I thought it's broken. It's been sitting there for months. Pocketing works. 8600 GTS. So so that's perfect. That's the hardware that I'm going with. Uh, it's just an ordinary case. I might I might get a better, better case for it. Uh, so uh, after some work on getting the drivers working, I finally got the integrated network to work properly. I also had those network cards, but they don't work. So, yeah. So I spent so many hours on this yesterday. Over 10 hours, because I know nothing about Mac OS X. Well, OS 10. That's how you're supposed to call it. But then, uh, research after research after research, I finally got it to work for some assistance. So right now, it's running a Mac OS 10, 10.6.3. It's a Snow Leopard. And um, you see there, it's, it says 3 GHz Core 2 processor. It's overclocked a little bit. It's supposed to be 2.5 GHz. But without any voltage, I was able to run 3 GHz, so that's good. And the memory is running at 800 MHz. Here I had the uh, profile open for the graphic chip, and it, it's working. There's, there's some other things like the Quas Extreme, whatever you call them, 
those things don't work I'm still trying to figure it out uh, I'm trying to read different tutorials to get them working if you know anything about it please let me know that would be great um, yeah so the system is working really good get this tripod working for the most part it's nice and smooth applications work uh, the way the Mac should be so there you go a Hackintosh I couldn't get any video games to work though even though I installed Steam but for, for multimedia purpose the machine works very good at this point that is there's still a lot to learn uh, slow down one of my video it's capable to do uh, HD videos and stuff like that so let's set that to 720p I couldn't do it in full screen full screen seems a little laggy doesn't matter if it's 720p or not just doesn't look very smooth although it's fine, it's acceptable I'll just watch this way it's smoother that way so for internet purpose and all that it's great the audio actually works right after the installation so that's awesome too So flash game works really good too. I really want to get the um, uh, the what do we call it the quads extreme and the other thing core image imaging. I really want to get those functions to work. I want to see just exactly how do I do about running video games on Mac. Right now it's pretty much 99% functional. That's the way you should. All the drivers work and all that, but I want it to work perfect, you know. It's in a full hacking touch if it doesn't work. And this full potential. So running a hacking touch is all about the hardware. You have to have the right hardware. Not all the hardware will work. So at first I couldn't get the Ethernet to work. Did a lot of reading. Just don't want to work. So again, I went to my Nexus one and I found this application called PDNet where you can download onto your phone and then download it onto your Mac, the client file run both of them at the same time you can do teetering that way with the Macintosh yeah so that's how I get the internet to work in the, uh, like in, at first and then as time goes on I eventually found a way to get the uh, ethernet to work so I leave this thing here just in case so Nexus 1, you win again so yeah, so that's that's Hackintosh.
so far to spend no more than a hundred dollars on it. Cool. So even though the Hackintosh build is just a uh, uh, just a project that I really want to get into, something I want to learn about, but then uh, I also hope that I can uh, be able to run some of the uh, Mac only softwares that's related to media creation such as video editing etc oh yeah by the way that's my new desk I'm not gonna turn around and make a video about it right now only because it's kinda messy right now yeah the new desk win so uh... oh yeah, I can talk about it. So that's where, uh, where they're supposed to have a computer at. So I have the Hackintosh there. I'm going to purchase a um, a smaller monitor and put it at this corner. Laptops will not be there. Laptops will be elsewhere. So that would be pretty nice. Yeah, so as I say, some of the uh, programs that's for Mac only. Because uh, I always they always talk about how the... Um, Macintosh is the best for video editing, etc., etc., media creation. Well, we'll see about that. Eventually, I get everything working proper and we'll try those things out to see if Mac is truly better or if it's just a myth.